I've always been interested in the power of fashion. What is it about certain brands that draws people to them? Join me, Idris Salim, as I delve deeper into the world of fashion brands, picking apart the threads and uncovering just what makes them so influential. I'm here to find out what the people of Bournemouth Town are wearing. What do their choices of brands reveal about themselves? What sort of brands are you wearing? None. <laughs> this, this is from a charity shop, which is where I shop most of the time. And H&M. <laughs> I'm wearing Zara. Ooh. I'm wearing Michael Kors. Um, I think that's it. What's your kind of overall style? Is this? Mm. I'd say it was trying as hard as I can to look like I've put as little effort as possible into what I'm wearing. Sure, yeah. I love my Doc Martens, yeah. If it's special, I'll um, buy it. But if I like it, I'll, yeah. Well, I won't get anything too expensive. No, I, I, I don't buy into that. I think I like to think of like clothes as an extension of who you are. Now. Yeah. If you wear something designer, you might feel to yourself, oh, I feel better than wearing something that's not a designer, do you know what I mean? So what are the reasons why people go for certain brands? Psychologist Dr. Thompson and fashion blogger Asma know a bit more about the meaning behind fashion. Fashion is a concept that means so many different things to different people but essentially is a set of values and trends that different people can follow. I think it's very important for people to be able to express themselves and show who they are. I realised that a huge part of my confidence has a lot to do with what I'm wearing and how I express myself and so I see myself like if I wear something that I really love if I put together an outfit that you know for me kind of resonates with myself I feel like when I walk out it's, I just feel complete I feel like you know I can just take on the world and be wherever I want to be and I think it's great because clothes have given me that kind of identity and it's just myself really. Personality is part of the equation, is part of fashion and I think those people that want to reach for a uniqueness uh, or a, a one-off garment, something that stands out so that it says something about them as being able to purchase something and wear something that no one else has access to. We, you know, think fashion as just more than clothing, mm -hmm. but a form of expression and building that community of fashion wearers, you know, to come together and I think that is a huge part of fashion or style and brand. I want to understand just what makes brands become so highly sought after. What makes them fetch such high prices? Aaron has taken his love of urban streetwear brands to the next level. I want to find out what motivates him to go to the lengths he does to attain an exclusive edition piece for his wardrobe. First, my like kind of gateway into all this was shoes. Mm. So um, I used to like look on Instagram, look at all these cool shoes and I think oh, I want those shoes as well. But obviously these shoes that I like are quite limited and like obviously demand's quite high so <coughs> prices are, are like, if you looked on eBay, prices of shoes I liked to like £250. So the only way I thought of getting money was doing what they do. So what people did back then was people would camp outside stores because um, it was one per person in the store. Um, people would camp outside the stores go and grab the shoe and then put it up on eBay for like, say, whatever more. That's insane. Yeah. So obviously you've used the opportunity of buying and selling these exclusive branded trainers and you've used that to become entrepreneurial. Yeah. Um, why do you think people pay a higher price? In my opinion, it's judged on like hype. So say uh, a big celebrity figure like Kanye West, yeah. like obviously he's quite well known and like he's got quite a big aura around him. Like if he makes a shoe, that's going to be like quite a hyped up, sick item. So people want to be that cool, like be like Kanye, be mm. cool. <laughs> so, he doesn't. <laughs> yeah. I, I think there is an addictive element to fashion in as much as people can sometimes be drawn to fashion uh, as a outlet, as a need. I think celebrity endorsement is something that is, is very big um, and is probably increasing now and especially with 
other channels such as social media where we've got bloggers and, and vloggers who are paid to, to promote certain brands. And in the last 10 years at least, um, there have been so many individual brands emerging and a lot on social media or accessible via social media. So we're finding a lot more choice. I want to see how independent designers fare in a world dominated by big names, both High Street and Haute Couture. Brothers Ross and George have carved a name for themselves amongst the oversaturated market of branded fashion. I think now like more and more and more people are buying into kind of more independent brands now than they were like ten years ago. I think they probably got more access to independent brands yeah. than they did before. Yeah, definitely the internet. Yeah. It wasn't around uh, like it, what it was, but now people are open to the smaller man doing their own thing. And I think with the internet, you can you can have a bigger voice amongst the, uh, a crowd and find your audience. Why do you think people mm. go for certain brands over others? I think trust. I think uh, uh, if you trust a brand, you know what you're going to get. It's lower risk. I think uh, if you found something you like, you'll usually continue to buy from them. Oh, how did um, your brand come about? Well, uh, all our lives I think we've wanted just to work for ourselves. Yeah. Um, we're very fortunate at the fact that when we were younger, our parents, they didn't go to work, they worked from home, so we just kind of, we lived around it for our childhood. Yeah, oh. George has always been into art and design. I did mm. a long time ago. And um, yeah, you wanted to do a brand yourself, didn't you? Well, we've always like had Africa in our blood. Uh, yeah. We're we're mixed race. Um, we're mixed. We've got a funky mix. Uh, we're Irish, Nigerian, and English. But uh, we decided to focus on the African theme. And part of this, you could say, is maybe a voyage of discovery to find out what Africa really is. So the beginning of the African theme is a British view of wild Africa. And from a design point of view. Um, it's kind of fun drawing elephants and lions. <laughs> yeah, it is fun, isn't it? It's amazing to see brands like Ages of Apparel doing so well. I found it fascinating learning how their cultural background shapes the aesthetics of their collection. Whether people who follow a certain brand are going to be more fashionable than another is really, again, um, a big debate and is dependent upon the people who's, that that is important to. So if we want to align ourselves to a certain specific group, a, a category that we perceive, whether it's uh, a celebrity a celebrity A-lister or whether it's a certain group of people who are all wearing the same things, you know, that could be one method in which we're aligning ourselves and that's how our psychological values are reflected by the things that we're wearing. Fashion is a powerful form of communication Mood, personality, identity and aspirations can all be illustrated with what you wear and brands and logos drive this forward. Today with social media and the internet, the power has really gone to the people to pick and choose the brands that they want to wear. I can't wait to see what the future holds.